Hello friends, this video on how do organisms reproduce part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Family planning, a very important topic and why is it necessary? As I said, we all know that population is increasing exponentially day by day. So it is really, really necessary to limit this huge increase in population. So what do you think will happen if the population is not restricted? There will be scarcity of everything. Let us suppose when the number of people is just four, you, your affordability is more, right? You can afford a good house for yourself. You, are, you can afford good education. You can afford to spend money on each of them. You can, you can obviously afford good, good and nutritious food. You can afford on clothing. But now as the number of people are increasing, gradually what is happening? Gradually the resources are remaining the same. The amount of food, the amount of uh, houses, the amount of money, everything is the same. But the number of people for utilizing all these things is increasing too much. So now people will be deprived of food, people will be deprived of education, people will be deprived of uh, jobs. So there will be unemployment, there will be poverty, so people will die of hunger, so all these things will happen, right? So therefore it is very very necessary that we put a limit to this to the serious problem of overpopulation. If, if it keeps on increasing this way, then a day will come when there will be scarcity of food, there will be no employment, there will be no education, right? Because the resources are limited, but the people who are using these resources are increasing day by day. So let us take a small example. Let us suppose if there is a family where the husband earns some money. Okay. So if he has if he has just one child, he can use that money in educate in providing education to the child, in providing him good clothes, in providing him good food. Right now, if instead of one child he has ten children, but still he is earning the same. So if he is earning that much, so that money will get divided among ten children now. So now they will not get that good education, they will not get that good food, right? So when the quantity increases, the quality decreases. So the quality becomes bad when the number of people are more. So it is very important that people should go for family planning. People should make sure that they do not give birth to too many children. In fact, earlier days it was said that, okay, uh, if you give birth to two or three children, that is decent enough. But these days, looking at the huge increase in population, it is always advisable to have just one child or at the max two. But never think beyond that, right? So that you can give and you can afford a good quality of life to your children. So now what are the ways by which family planning can be done? So how can you restrict the number of children? So there are many different ways. One is proper age gap between children. There are some couples, I mean, mostly it happens with the lower class societies where people are not that educated. They are ignorant of uh, the knowledges, right? So generally it is seen that they give, they tend to give birth to a child every year. So if, if a female gives birth to a child every year, so maybe in 10 years, she'll be giving birth to some 10 kids. But if you maintain a proper age gap between the children, maybe when the female is 25 years old, she gives birth to one child. Maybe after six years, when she is 31, she gives birth to the second child. Now, after 31, she is growing old now, right? So she doesn't have much scope to give birth to more children because she will not like to have kids when she is growing that old. So maybe she'll just have two kids. But on the other hand, if there is another lady who gave birth to a child when she was 21, 25, she gave birth to the second child when she was 26. She knows that she is still young enough. She can give birth to another child when she is 27. So that means the number of children also increases. And, and also none of those children get proper care and attention. So maintaining a proper age gap between the children. Control the number of children in a family to one or two depending upon the family's income. That is very, very important. One has to take into consideration the family's income. Now, in many families, it is seen that the husband is working, he is earning, the wife is also earning. So, the income is more. 
So in that case, if they think that they are earning really well and they really want to have two kids, fair enough. But on the other hand, if there is another family where only the husband is working and that too, uh, he's not earning much, in that case, even though they feel that they should have five kids, they should actually have one so that they can at least afford to ha give a good quality of life to that one child, right? So the number of children in a family should be controlled to one or two, not more than that. No differentiation between male and female stand. Even today, in many families, not only the families in villages or the backward classes, it is even seen in good educated families in cities as well, that people say that they want to have a male child. They, they want a boy and not a girl. So there are many couples even today who tend to give birth to some five, six daughters just to just with the hope that someday a son will be born. And that is not at all right because just to get a male child, they gave birth to so many female children unnecessarily, right? So there should be no differentiation between a male child and a female child because anyways, these days, a girl and a boy, both are treated as similar in the society. Both of them can be given good education. Both of them can become self-dependent. Both of them can lead an equally good life. Right? Because nothing, at the end of the day, nothing happens either by the males alone or by the females alone. Everything has to ha happen with the coordination of both the males and the females. Right? So there should be no differentiation between male and female child. So if this differentiation doesn't exist, then at least those girl child who, who takes birth only with the hope of a boy child will at least reduce. Right? So these are some of the thought processes which should be changed in order to put family planning in proper place. Parents should plan a baby at their right age. That is also very important. Now, as I said before also that if the parents are 45 or 50 years old and if at that time they plan, they are planning for a baby. So that is not right because by the time the baby is just 5 years old, the parents are more than 50 years old. And, and as people age, they tend to get weak, they become weak, they they start getting diseases, they are themselves not well, right? And that time they have a kid who is five years old, who also needs care. So the pa parents will no more be young enough to take care of their kids. That is why they should plan a baby at the right age. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.